Here's a recap of our top story of this evening. Parliament has kicked off highly anticipated debates on proposed anti-fake news laws, with both sides of the aisle crossing swords on the details of the new legislation, such as who should be the first to decide what's a falsehood. And this came after Law and Home Affairs Minister Keishan Mugam reiterated the importance of having new levers to deal specifically and quickly with online falsehoods. Workers' Party Chief Pitam Singh was the first to speak during the debate on the proposed law to fight fake news and said the party opposes the bill. Mr. Singh said the Workers' Party does not agree that ministers should decide on what constitutes falsehoods in the first instance. And while the government must legitimately be able to apply to take down fake news, a court order should legitimize the action to be taken. The fake news domain is already a very controversial one. Some players are sophisticated. Others will fake innocence when rightly called out. Some misleading statements will be completely political in nature, aimed at lowering the esteem and political prospect of election candidates. And there would be conceivably a whole litany of other scenarios and circumstances to consider. On its part, the executive will act in some cases of falsehoods, and in other cases it will not. In both scenarios, questions will be asked why the executive acted as such. Suspicions will be raised and perceptions could be formed. Politicization would be inevitable. PAP MP Christopher D'Souza disagreed with Mr. Singh, pointing to the speed at which falsehoods can spread. He said such threats can be dynamic and swift, requiring a quick and nimble response. Falsehoods can spread like fire in hay. They need to be curbed and responded to robustly before they can cause harm. Falsehoods can threaten public safety and create riots. In these situations, there's no luxury of time to make decisions, you know, going through the court process, etc. The measures will need to achieve the objective of breaking virality by being effective in a matter of hours, hours. And that could be after court hours. A riot can break after the courts close. Nominated MP Irene Quay, meanwhile, suggested that an independent oversight council be set up to review past cases, in her words, for learning purposes. She said Singapore, uh, being the first country in the world to enact such a wide-ranging bill, a steep learning curve is expected. Having an independent oversight council to evaluate the effect of fake news will allow directives to be issued in an effective manner and to ensure credibility in our governance. The proposed council is not meant to be at odds with ministries or the court in any way, but to allow for transparency, accountability and synergy.